back to Josh No Code. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Zapier with QuickBooks Online. Now, the purpose of this video is just to show you how to get the basic QuickBooks Online plugin set up in Zapier. We're not going to be getting into any specific automations. If you already have the QuickBooks Online plugin set up in Zapier and you're looking for a tutorial that shows you how to automate things like invoices in QuickBooks Online via a Zap, I already have a tutorial for that and I'll be dropping a link to it in the description. So with that said, let's jump into it. So here we are in the apps section of Zapier and all we have to do is search for QuickBooks Online. And uh, you'll see the app right here and all you have to do is click on the connect button. Now a new window will open up and it's gonna prompt you to uh, allow Zapier to access your QuickBooks Online account. So click on yes, continue to QuickBooks Online and you'll be brought to QuickBooks and it's gonna give you two options to uh, sign into your account. Uh, you could either sign in via Google or you can sign in via your email or user ID and uh, password. So um, before signing in, one thing to note here, um, for the account that you're uh, signing in with, make sure that you are an admin user. If you are not an admin user in QuickBooks Online, then you will not be able to successfully complete the integration. So with that said, we will be signing in. So once you're signed in, um, basically that's the entire process. I'm just gonna re refresh my screen here and you will see that a new connection was added to your QuickBooks online account. So you can start um, creating zaps, but before we do that, I'm just gonna show you one little thing. Um, you could always test your connection if it's not working properly or you could reconnect, you could edit connection name um, for a specific um, account. So I'll just call this admin QuickBooks. Uh, that's just a little tip right there, but um, just to show you really quick, let's go ahead and create a new zap. I'll search for QuickBooks Online. And you can see that um, the account has been added. Um, and you could always change it by clicking this change button. Um, and you could always add a new account by clicking the connect a new account button. And you just go through the same exact process. So uh, guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on if you're looking to follow more content on business process automation. With that said, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.